Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and I have um, a Country Craft Creations uh, new product haul to share with you. Um, some stuff that, you know, I've been wanting to get my hands on and play with um, and some things that are going to coordinate with some projects I have coming up. But first, this might look like right now that I'm just showing you some craft cardstock. And I am putting lotion on my hands, so it's going to make my paper greasy. <laughs> but I was just like, ooh, I need some lotion on here. You guys know how we do. Okay, so they have some new My Colors colors. And I wanted to um, get one of each. So one, I could update my swatch book. Um, because I try to, if I can, match up colors for people. Like if I have the collections, I could tell them what matches great with it, etc. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this one on top is uh, called Buff. It is not the Artisan Craft cardstock, although it looks really similar, but it's not. It's my colors. Then we have this Vivid Yellow, and yes it is. If you didn't like yellow, here you go. <laughs> it's in your face, but it's nice and bright and colorful. Then there is this bonsai um, green color. And, and that green is more like a candy apple green. And then you have blue lagoon, really pretty. Then there is beach breeze. These are all new colors. I think they're all, I don't think any of these are 100 pound. I'm just kind of feeling them. I, yeah, I don't think they're 100 pound. <clears throat> and then, do they say it on there? No. Does it? No. <laughs> and then um, this one is berry. So it's very pretty. And then you have wisteria. I'm loving the purples. This one, oh, excuse me. This one is my favorite <laughs> eggplant. This is an amazing purple for all the Halloween collections. And I don't know about you guys, but I'm still doing Halloween and I don't care. I'll be doing it through the end of the weekend, doing it all year long if I want to. <laughs> I just, Christmas and Halloween, they just get me. They just get me. They're so fun. And it's hard because the collections for Halloween don't come out until, you know, like September time frame and you're trying to hurry up and get stuff in they should just be year-round just saying and then there is vanilla and then you get a nice piece of chipboard if you order singles <laughs> so, that's awesome so those are my colors to update my swatch book and then let's hop over to okay the this is okay um, okay, 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 okay. Now, I'm going to show you guys some things here. These are individual like kits from a new brand that I've shown before. These are the newer items that, you know, have arrived at Country Craft Creations. So, I have been wanting to play with this. I saw examples. I don't know if they have some on here. Um, but I saw examples of this at uh, Creativation, not Creativation, Craft Utopia. Hold, please. Sorry about the crinkle. i got to figure out how to open this. Um, this is a kit. So, like, for example, this one is a kit. And let me just show you guys. I wanted to be able to show you the cards that I've used, that, that I made, um, like, in the summertime. So I had this one already in my stash. So they have these dies that create shadows. Um, I forget what it's called. What is it called? Is it on here? Um, does it say? No, it's not shadows though. I forget what they call it. But um, so I have this one and I created these cards here. So this is literally using their paper collection and then you stamp on it now this one i inked i took my gold foil pen i splattered some um, white paint on there of course i did extra matting but this was my first try um i thought i did pretty good and it takes a learning curve but it was it was i'm just gonna say it was fun to do 
Um, so I'm glad that there's more here to play with. Um, I have, this set is the one I really, really wanted. And you have um, the die set. So again, this is Stamps by Me and they go by like S STBM. Um, but Stamps by Me, you get these dies in here and I just thought this looked fun for the holidays. And let's just look. Let's just open this baby up. And this will be, you know, kind of a long video, not extremely long. But I want to be able to show you guys these papers because I think it's easier um, to see on video than just on camera. And I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? Nope, they're stuck. Hold tight. Okay, so these are nice size dies. And we have, do you have pieces? Okay, yes. So there's four dies. One, two, three, four. I'm, I'm just looking as I'm saying it to you guys. So this one, no, these, yeah. No, these are different. Okay, what do we got here? There is this one. Oh, excuse me. This one is that one. <laughs> this one is that one. And I think it goes with the circle. Then you have this one. These two go together. And I don't know what that one goes with. What does that one go with? It's right there. It must just maybe. My stomach just like keeps making noises. We call her Wilhelmina. I don't know what she's doing. But you know. That's just how it is over here. So I'm not. Oh no. This one goes with that one. So, yes. Okay. Okay. So, I think we have it now. But you get all these dies in here, which is great. You get this um, stamp set. And it is sparkle. Then it has the shadow. And then joy shadow and Noel shadow. So, you have these um, word dies here. And this is called Festive Baubles. And then you have festive bobbles paper. So I just want to show you some of it. And I think you get like maybe three or four of each one. And they are a nice big size, five by seven. So, oh, 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 that is glitter. Can you guys see the sparkle in that? Oh my gosh, that's glitter. That's pretty. And it's smooth. I'm assuming it's a no shed. Oh my gosh, that is a pretty red. Ooh, gorgeous. Then you have this blue. Yep, three of each. The gold, of course. Oh my gosh, did I even know these were in here? I don't know. Then you have the green. Silver. Then you have, oh my gosh. It's all this, like, this is mirrored, but not mirrored. It is like, um, I don't even know how to... It's as if it was mirrored and got foggy. Let's call it a foggy mirror. <laughs> it's a foggy mirrored red. Can you guys see? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Then you have this ear. Are these all the same? I think these might be different. Let me set this down. Oh my gosh, it is. Oh, just look at all the ear destiny. Woo wee. We're going on a trip, people. Going on a trip. I don't do that stuff. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> So this is a silver, a gold. Oh my goodness gracious. A teal. What is this? It is iridescent. Oh my gosh. This one is different than that one. So this has like a blue tint to it. And then this is the silver. Oh, just so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then look at these papers. So if you want to just, you know, mass out, do some cards. It is single sided. Um, these are just so pretty so pretty you have that one this one just pretty florals and if you are on scrapbookers of country craft creations um i i think i posted pictures like examples if not i will do it again oh just love the teal in here and if you do hop over to um, Country of Craft Creations, use the referral link below and you will get 10% off um, by doing my referral link. And you have that one there. 
just think this is so pretty. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Look at this. Just gorgeous colors. So it's just a mixture of reds and teals. I just think, oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, so that is just one collection. I wanted to get a few to show you. I didn't even get all of them because there's so many. But if you are a card maker, this is for you. And it's a fun new way to do cards, tags. You still can make folios with this. Don't get me wrong. With the die set, you can make your own ephemera. You can, you know, have fun with it and just go for it. And then they told us that you're supposed to be able to do the link um, here, or not the link, the scan the code, and um, what do you call it? Uh, I can't talk today. Mm -hmm. That, that. I'm still trying to think of what that is. Scan the code, and it takes you to, like, um, examples, but it doesn't. At least I, I didn't do it very well, so you guys know that could be totally wrong because I'm technically, technically challenged, so... But it is just a lot of fun, and hopefully some of the other designers will pick up some of this stuff. I just, I really love the way these looked. So this is one of those, and do they have it on there? Let's see. Um, no. Okay, well, it is called um, Be the Change. And remember, if you're new to stamping, you have to prime your stamps. You can, you know, look up to see what that means, but you definitely want to, anytime you have... I'm a new stamp set. You want to make, make sure you prime it. And then it, it kind of looks like you're at the um, psychiatrist and they're asking, what does this look like? It takes a second because you do just see a blob. But really, in theory, like you see, this is a tree on a meadow with some flowers. And then a little house on the prairie, you know, Laura Ingalls is rolling down the hill. Just kidding. <laughs> I don't know why that came up. Oh my gosh, Tiffany, stop it. And then here, I'm just a bushel of fun. <laughs> a bunch of flowers and grass. <laughs> I am a mess, I know. Um, it does say, be the change you wish to see in the world. Yes, please. Please. And then this one that I have is Friends Forever. And, okay, so look at it this way. Because <laughs> it looks really weird that way. So you have like a break dancer, you have, this could be just someone having fun on the beach, but also a dancer. And it says, happy birthday, friends forever. Oh, see, dance like nobody's watching, so dancers. Um, this one is friends or family we choose. Oh, isn't that cute? So again, here is just a group there. This would be great for the dancers in your family. Um, I just think they're beautiful cards and sometimes it's hard to find cards like this. So especially if you like sell cards, I think this would be a great one to have because this is like a one of a kind type of thing. And then I picked up some other kits. So this one is just paper. So I just wanna show you guys. I have some exciting stuff at the end. So stay tuned. If this isn't your thing, that's okay. But there is more. So this was, I just loved all the purples and blues, and it is called, what? Oh, special effects. They, they love me some little sequins, bling. You have some green glitter, a little like salmon pink faux leather, and then purple, a gold, more sequins. It's just this pretty paper. And it's great to have like this size just on hand for matting, but these could be used in, in any of our albums, folios, um, as an accent. There's, I mean, you guys, there's a ton in here. And like I said, I didn't even get everything that is available. I will have the link to get to all Stamps by Me stuff and then link these individual or individually. Green faux purple, green again, just really pretty, fun colors. So great to have in your stash. 
Okay. Next we have. Doo -doo. Oh, and just again, reminder, in case you did not see, there are now access only passes for the December Daily. That is going to be done in the Simple Stories. Um, what is it? What is it called? I just want to blink. Ooh, I'm breaking my bag. Hold on. Now I have to see what it's called because I know it's like vintage Holly Jolly collection, which is so adorable. And if you do not know what a December daily is, check out Country Craft Creations on YouTube um, and um, search for December daily on Tamara's channel. Her December dailies are amazing and I have yet to make one. But that's actually not true because I think I did make one and I made it in Halloween because I didn't understand like the December daily thing. Well, let me rephrase. I understand it. I just won't <laughs> jot down everything I'm doing in December or document it. But I turned it into a Halloween album and it was so pretty. She makes like the best December daily albums and you could use whatever paper you want. So there's access only code for that now. I think there was that. I think so. Um, and then there was, and I, okay, I could be lying on that. <laughs> Check the description box. But there is for sure for the Monster Mash Retreat we just did, there is one for that. And then for the um, holiday retreat that is coming up in two weeks that I have a video that I just posted on my channel like a day or two ago and showed you um, a sneak peek, which really I showed you the album that I made with the collection I was given. So the access only, you know, if you aren't able to attend in person a retreat or even do it virtually for whatever the reason is, but you wanna be part of the fun too, you want to see some new tips and tricks, you can do the access only pass and you'll get um, access to the tutorials and the videos that the designers do, which let me just say, there's a lot of work behind the scenes to make those happen. Just telling you guys, a lot of work to make those things happen. Um, but you would be able to make it in whatever paper you have in your stash. So it's a great stash buster um, thing too. Okay, so this next one is Winter Woodland. And I love the examples they did with these. They were just so pretty. So you get the um, trees with the deer in this one and then this one has the leaves and I'm trying to see nope doesn't say but these are this is again like a kit so they have these things together i don't know what these are these little like sentiments i didn't know that these came in there but again it's just it's a nice relaxing way to just play and try something different oh yes they are okay so you get these little um, meanings. So it says like hopeful, having qualities which inspire hope, you know, so definitions. And then you have these little sentiments here, which is pretty cool. Okay, I like that. And then we're gonna look at the paper and then I'll have one more to show you from Stamps by Me. And I probably will not get to these until Oh, I don't even, it might be after our holiday retreat because I have a lot of things lined up right now. So, um, it's, I always say in my, like, haul videos for you guys, if you see something you're even remotely thinking, oh, that looks cool, I want to try that, don't wait on it because usually by the time I make something, <laughs> it is sold out. So you want to just get it so you have it ready to go. Okay, so here are some of, oh my gosh, here are some of the images. So let me just take out this little leafy die if I can get it off. There's a lot of plastic happening in this video. <laughs> oh my gosh, the tape is really good. People like to make sure these things don't move. Okay, so... You kind of saw an example of that one kind of here, so we'll just keep going. And again, there is three each, I think. Yes, three each, but you have this beautiful purple. You can put it, you know, wherever you want on your paper. 
And you don't have to use these dies either. This is just giving you some examples. You have the moon. So a few images of the moon. Oh, that's pretty. So like it could be just as easy as that. And then use those solids. Oh my gosh. And these and the dies. Oh my gosh. How cute would that be? Boop. Little boop boop. Oh my goodness. I just see like some purple bling happening right here. Okay, so you have this. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like these are my favorite over the moon with the swirly, but it is that like whole, it's all artsy, that paint texturized image. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now these will be cool for even like Halloween projects. That's too big for that. I don't like it like that. I would have to have that on its own because I really love the crested moon there. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. Yes. So they kind of did every other one is like the moon scene and then you have more of the purples and blues in the other one. Oh, that's pretty. Have that one. Oh, look how cute. Just a fun way to capture things. You could turn these into shakers if you wanted to and had like white snow glitter like in there. Oh my gosh, that would be so pretty. And if any of the Country Craft Creations members do have this or get it and you make stuff, please post it. We love seeing what you guys make too. It's um, very inspirational for all of us. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see? I like this better than this one. This one's still cute, but I like this. I <laughs> keep going. Every time the purple comes, oh, let me get the dye. <laughs> and maybe because it's like the woodsy scene, um, you know, I just, I just like it. I like it. It's so pretty. So you have these. I love this like abstract Christmas lights. It's as if you're looking, if, especially if you're in Washington, out the rainy window and <laughs> the lights look like they're melting. And then you have that one there. Christmas trees. That is like pretty cool. Again, this is just some new different things. Um, just to try stuff, you guys. Just try new things. I do it all the time and I am terrible at it. But it's fun learning different techniques and then you get better and better and better. But to me, that's what like art is, is trying different stuff and just kind of going out of your comfort zone and having fun with it. Ah. Okay, I won't be able to get this back probably in the bag on camera because we never can. Well, except camera because they get things in the bags like so fast. I don't know how they do it. It is insane and I'm stuck. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Okay, the struggle is real. Tiffany, just put it down. Give up. But I can't because it's right there. Okay, stop it. Let me <laughs> oh my gosh, girl. Get it together. Okay, then the last one. Enchanted Forest. And it comes with a little um, stamp set. And I think a die. Again, these are kits, which I think are so... These are great gifts to give to somebody. A nice way to give a gift. So the stamps, no, it's hard to see. Sending you the gift of love. May your days be merry and bright. Merry everything and a happy always. Um, it's the season to be jolly. And then, oh yes. Okay, this bow is really cute when it is put together. I'm just going to say that. Really cute. So... It's the three layers. So this one goes on that. Then this one goes on this one. That goes on the top here. I think this was, is this the tails? I don't remember what this piece is. I will figure it out. But I think these would be adorable to go on presents, packages, um, even small things. Especially if you have flat mail. Oh my gosh, you're sending something flat, putting this bow on there. You know, not putting all the dimension on it would be so cute. Okay. And then we have, and you can mix and match, obviously, if you get um, the different sets. You can mix up the dies, because look how one, just right here, 
and get that tape. You can have that, or you can put a little friend. Where's that other one? You could have a little friend or the trees so you can have fun with it. I don't want to mix these up though. Okay, so this is another paper collection, Enchanted Forest. And we have this one here. Oh, that's pretty. It's just, I just love it. It's like, you know, you have some sheets that looks like you water watercolored. You know, you did some watercoloring and you're just getting your bobber ass on. Swish, swish, swish. And no, you did not. <laughs> we are just perpetrating and <laughs> faking it till we make it. But it is just fun to have. Like when I say like these cards, it was a challenge for me at first. And then I was just, I was watching Netflix. I was determined. And once I got it, I was like, oh my gosh, that was actually really fun. It just like anything new. It takes us a minute to figure it out. But these are just fun, snowy images that are just stunning. And, and even if you don't want to use any of the dies, like I said, this could be just the card base. So you put this on your card base, put your sentiment, and done. It can be as simple as that. Or you can get a white snow pen, you can get your Nuvo Drops, your um, Stickles, all the things, and just have fun with it. Get your little Bob, Bob Ross brush. Am I going to get in trouble for saying Bob Ross? I don't know. But get your Bob Ross brush out and boop, 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 all on the branches, you know. Just saying. That is so pretty. That's creepy. But I like it. Like, I mean, you know, if you're into Game of Thrones, you can make some Game of Thrones cards up in the north. <laughs> Especially right here. You could just have fun with it. Like, that is really cool. It's so pretty. That's the front. But again, you could use these dies and make different things. And just, you know, like I said, have fun. Sometimes we get in a rut and our creative juices aren't flowing. Trying something new helps me, like, just look at things differently and just, uh, you know, somehow I'm always able to take, like, what I've learned, like, with this and then put it in my mini albums or my folios. Like, this is so cute. Just, like, popped with a red. Oh, my gosh. That would be so pretty. And you have this big chunky snowflake right here and then another deer image so just so sweet you know you guys just gotta try it out i definitely will be trying some of these but as you can see i got i got quite a bit it's gonna take me a minute to get get to all of this but we have like winter coming up I mean, do we though? I don't know because weather's been crazy. But it would be fun to just make some winter cards for the next year. Okay, so let me see if I can move this out of the way because we have a big end to show you. So I have some add ons to something I've already showed you. I have one, some, well, at first we have some new Spellbinder stuff that I had to have. You guys are going to laugh. I had to have this. It's so cute. <laughs> and I have not done anything with my wax seals yet. But now I just, I really want to. I just need all the time. All the time to be able to do all the things. Because I just, I want it all. I'm going to play with it all. I'm going to try it all. How cute. Like in a pink or a turquoise, of course, a white. But, oh my gosh, and that is like heavy duty. It's just so cute. Okay, so I had to have it. I don't care. It was going in the collection. It came, I think, a little later than it was supposed to. Um, obviously. But, I don't care. It is so cute. Have to do it. Had to do it. Okay, some other Spellbinders things that arrived. Hold on. Okay. 
I'm just going to set this here for a moment. Look at these babies. Oh my goodness gracious. Can you stand the pretties? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't. Okay, so the reason I had to have these one, you guys know I have to have trim. Now I'm going to have to go back because there's one more color I think here. I think it's like a mossy green color. And then there is a rose gold and I, I can't wait. To, I want to touch that. <laughs> I need to feel it. But I showed this on my channel. I still plan to do this, but I wanted to wait because these things came in after. And if you remember seeing me unbox this, which I think there is only 11 left in stock. And I guarantee you guys, once I actually do this project, you're going to want the box and it's going to be gone. But I was saying, why is there no ribbon that matches this stuff? There needs to be ribbon. And lo and behold, there is extras. There was add-ons. And I'm going to show you the other add-on things if you wanted to. You still can do what is in the box and that's it. But come on, why would you not want these babies? And these are big babies. But just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I think the other color was rose gold, I believe. Um, oh my gosh. So I'm going to have to use some of this in here. I will always give you a way to use those without the ribbon and trim. And you can use stuff from your stash. But I just wanted to make sure I showed you guys. So you could hop over and pick that up too. And what are these? Um, does it say... 20 nope nope does not say i don't know how much it is but let's just take a peek like that's thick there is a lot of oh just velvety gorgeousness and it's little it's like a quarter inch oh my gosh i just love it shh don't tell nobody and then this i just feel like i need to get my diana ross on all the rosses let's just do all the rosses today Okay, we can't get that. I can see where it is though, so that's a plus. Just, I really want to fill this and just see. Here he goes, yelling my name. Okay, I'm talking about my husband, in case you didn't know. Oh my goodness gracious, oh my goodness. Okay, well that's stuck on there very good. I'm gonna have to kind of tear apart some of these, I think. Dang, what kind of tape they be using? That is good tape. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's like papery. I, how did they even do this? This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I just love it. Look how shiny. Oh my goodness. That is pretty. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. These are going on the cards. I'm going to be putting these on the cards. Oh my goodness and this can't see there is again a lot in here there's a lot in there oh my gosh i can't i need the rose gold now and there should be a silver where's the silver oh my goodness i can't i don't even know what this is called metallic something <laughs> and then of course these beautiful velvety just goodness right here Okay, let me see. I feel like they have a little halfsies in there. Oh, can't tell. Okay, so there's that. You guys see that, you know, I can not focus. <laughs> Tiffany, get back to what you're supposed to be doing. But it's so pretty. Okay, so these are extras. If you want them to go, you know, with a set, which I don't, I don't know if I got everything, but... I don't care. I got some of them because these are stinking adorable. So this, obviously, if you guys, well, can you guys see? You might not be able to see that red one. Christmas wishes, happy holidays, delivering joy, and you have a shadow piece that will um, uh, be a layering piece for all of those. How do you do that? I probably would. Yeah. I would, you stick this in there, so I would tape these two together, and then die cut it in my machine. That's how I'm assuming they're supposed to be done. And then look at this, baby. Look at you. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's going to be fun to do. 
and you get a flower. You guys know I love a good flower. And look how they did it in two different colors. So love that. You get the little um, middle section. All the leafy bits that I love to put on my projects. And then you have the presents. You have the joy in Noel. Oh my gosh. Oh, so pretty in this one. I love the mailboxes that they do. I think the other one is turquoise. And it's like maybe for, I don't know, Valentine's Day. But look at what else you get. More flowers and leaves. So adorable. So just right here alone, just looking to see. You can make cards and then have, um, you know, get your sentiments from here. There's lots of sentiments in the actual um, Handmade Holidays Christmas kit. But it's just so pretty. And these are great to use on scraps. And then I got the 3D um, embossing folder of the poinsettias. I just, it's so pretty. So it's called Scenic Poinsettias or Poinsettias, whichever way you want to say it. Tomato, tomato. Um, this one was the parcel in post mailbox and then delivering joy slay. Slay, girl, slay. And this one, Holly Flourish. I just thought it was so pretty. And I'm going to have to do it on some uh, turquoise paper like that. Of course, I'm going to have to do that. And then this one is Dazzling Dots. So, you you guys, don't, don't get rid of your embossing folders. There's so much you can do with it. And now there's 3D embossing folders. You can ink these babies up so you can emboss this and then run ink over it. You could have a lot of fun. You can ink inside your embossing folder and then emboss on even like white, give it some dimension, a lot of fun things. So this will be, um, I will be using some of this here with the Spellbinders Handmade Holidays Christmas Kit. And I have Tiffany, I will try, I'm talking to myself, you guys, trying to tell myself to remember to link this video if you did not see me unbox this goodness. But there's so much stuff in here I don't even know. I'm going to have to do like bonus projects, but I think there's like 15 cards. I don't even know. It's crazy. Just crazy. So much is in here. Okay. There you guys go. Don't forget. Use the link below. Um, I do have that um, referral link now that will save you. Just, you know, just saying it'll save you 10%. And yes, you do help me out too. I get a small commission now. So thank you guys so much. And the ones that have used it, it really means a lot to me. Um, you know, I, I, I try to just keep giving you guys like fun content and everything and just some fun inspiration. But I get inspired by you guys every day as well. So thank you, Tiffany. Don't tear up, like knock it off. And yes, I talk to myself all the time, people. <laughs> In the third person, third, fourth, and fifth. Um, but definitely use the link below. Um, it will give you 10% off when you go to check out. If for some reason you use the link and you don't see it, punch in my code, let's get scrappy 10. But the referral link is the easiest way to make sure you get um, the 10% off of everything. Unless it's like a retreat or something. You do not get that. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. Let me know if you got the box. Because I want to find out like how many people got the box and are still waiting to play with it. Um, if you did get it, what is something you want to see made with it? Because of course we have cards, but we could do tags. We could do probably a small folio. I don't know yet. I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to open the box and play. So that will be coming soon, meaning probably in the next like five days. I'm hoping to play with this. I got to see if I can do this um, before my daughter's surgery. Um, but yeah, there you guys go. I just, I can't. I literally, I can't. I can't. What is this? What is this? Just wrap me up in this little baby right here. Just bling, bling, bling. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. Be sure if you have not already, hop on over to Facebook and join Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations. And you do have to answer the questions in order to um, join. But that's where a lot of um, like uh, 
giveaways and promos and knowing when things are coming happens first. So you want to join that. So be sure to hop on over to Scrapbookers of Country Craft Creations on Facebook. And then if you have not subscribed, please make sure that you do because you're gonna wanna see what I make with all these goodies. And one day, one day, where'd it go? I already lost it, so I don't even know when I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Where did I just, oh, it's right here. It's right here in front of me. I am gonna do the wax seals. I'm gonna shock you guys and I'm gonna do the wax seals. I, I keep looking at them. They're just right here. They're just right here. Just saying, Tiffany, we're waiting. We want to be melted and dipped. <laughs> I don't know where I come up with this stuff, you guys. I'm ridiculous. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Definitely let me know what you think in the description or in the comments below. If you did like this video, please give your girl a thumbs up. Okay. Bye.